You're live. Are we live? <laughs> yeah. Are we really live? Yeah, you're right. Okay, sorry. Are oh, you doing all right? I'm all right. Good, all right. right. I'm Ash from Weekend Warlords. And I'm Rasta. Yeah, and I'm joined by Rasta from Rasta Mice Painting. Rasta Mice Painting. Rasta yeah. Mice Painting. And we're going to open wave 12 and 13. Two waves at once. Two waves at once. They have, bubble. Yeah, they've spoiled us this time. Right. And we're going to start with Phantom 2. As seen in Rebels. As seen in Rebels. I only yeah. saw it yesterday. Very cool. Yeah. It's a nice, uh, well, I'd say it's a nice looking ship. They've done a good paint job on it. I do like the colours and that. Let's see what's in it. So, you get that out. Ooh, Ash. And I will show them this beautiful model under here. So, in this wave, we've got a resistance ship, a rebel ship, an imperial ship, a scum ship, and a first order ship. So they give us one of everything, which is very nice. Right, that is pretty wicked. Probably the best paint job of the wave, to be fair. Yeah, we were just discussing this off camera, and, and yeah, I really like You guys it. are spoiled when you think about price points and someone putting that much work in as a professional painter. <laughs> that, that ain't bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're really nice. Think of those tiny little children's fingers <laughs> sat painting that just for you, a little brush. Yeah, that's one cool shit. Very cool. Right, so card wise, this is the big one because with this shit, which we, we all know. With pilots. Yeah, let's go pilots. Yeah, instead yeah, of giving them the cream. Yeah, yeah, let's not Let's let them have the coffee before yeah, the cream, okay. eh? Yeah. So, top card, top pilot, Femrail. PS9. Yeah. When an enemy ship inside your firing arc at range 1 to 3 becomes the active ship during the combat phase, if you are not stressed, you may receive a stress token. If you do, that ship cannot spend tokens to modify its dice when attacking this round. Brutal. That is going to be horrible in-game. Yep. Fen's looking good. And we've got a new action on the action bar there. Yep, coordinate. Yeah. so you're going to see that. Replacing the barrel roll of the, the last Phantom. I'm not sure whether I prefer to coordinate, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to lead to different combos, definitely. We've got we, EPT crew Android. EPT droid. Droid. A droid. I know, droid. an actual a fitted astromech, which, yeah. which by rights the first yeah. Phantom should have had. Indeed. So, second card, second pilot even, Ezra Bridger. Wouldn't be a Phantom without Ezra. No. Pairs up very nicely with one of the crew cards, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, when defense, it's, it's exactly the same as Ezra's old pilot ability in the old Phantom. When defending, if you are stressed, you may change up to two of your focus to um, eyeball results, uh, to um, evade results. So that's going to pair up very well with one of these I'll get to in a second. He's the same as Femrat, so they've both got EPT, uh, crew and droid, exactly the same. So third one, Zeb. Exactly the same as the old chattel. You can cancel crits before hits. Yeah. Nothing groundbreaking there. Uh, no EPT slot though on this guy, same as... Same as the original Zeb Aurelius. And these are nice yeah, low point uh, low point chips as well. So for the filler, you know, these, yeah. are, these are decent. Oh, these are going to be good chips. Yeah. This is going to be a good chip and there's going to be some jank. I mean, the evil genius, my son, he's already got an evil jank list with one of these and it's not very much fun to play against. Well, he was running the old shuttle as an ace yeah, he was. last week. Was so yeah, yeah, this is going to be great. Last pilot, AP5. I'm a little bit upset that we haven't got this as a crew card yet. Because I love neurotic droids. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, absolutely brilliant. Reminds me of the robot out of uh, um, Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think that's what it's based on. Yeah. Well, well, what's his? What's his? So name? when you perform the coordinate action, after you choose a friendly ship and before it performs a free action, you may receive two stress tokens to remove one stress token from it. So yeah, nice. It's allowing you to strip a stress off a stretch. <laughs> yes. Say that with a mouthful. Yeah. It's allowing you to strip a stress off a stress ship so it can perform a free action. Mm. Nice. And 15 points. Yeah, no EPT on Zeb or uh, AP5. I suppose one of the glaring differences with this compared to the old shuttle was you've got a primary at two on this. Yeah. Um, and you haven't got, I do believe, you do not have a turret slot. No. No, no turret slot. No turret, yeah. It seems the droid has replaced the turret slot. Yeah. 
So no uh, range one auto blaster shenanigans with that coming out. But of with the droid on, it makes it a fight. It does. So, so but yeah. let, let, let's talk about these two upgrades card first. So you've got the new ghost upgrade and the new phantom upgrade. In fact, is the ghost the same? Well, it just it, it, this allows you to equip the steep side shuttle. Yeah. So but the phantom, phantom two is completely different. Yeah. So let's see, have a look at that, and it says. When you are docked uh, in the Ghost, can perform primary weapon attacks from its special firing arc, same as before. But uh, while you are docked, at the end of the activation phase, the Ghost may perform a free coordinate action. Back Interesting. Back so coordinate. you've kind of got a built-in uh, Ahsoka there without having to take Ahsoka. So you've got a PS12 action almost. You know, So after everything's done, give someone a barrel roll, give someone a boost, give someone a target lock. Interesting. Not sure, to be fair, if this really outweighs the old shuttle card of the double tapping ghost because it's just such a monster in that combination. So get rid of those. Yeah. Um, the much mated courier droid. <clears throat> yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's a cruise slot. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and it's going to pair very well with with certain things that allow you to discard damage. It's gonna work well on a decimator. So yeah, with like so Moff Gerard. At the start of the Plan Forces step, you may choose to treat your pilot skill value as zero or eight until the end of the step. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, totally. Interested to see what people do with that one. And we've got Chopper Astromech at last. Hey, finally, yeah, finally. yeah, yeah, yeah. So action, discard one other equipped upgrade card to recover a shield. So nice. there can be some real jank. I know yeah. that Simeon Jankmaster has wrote in a list with that, with the steep side, that just keeps healing itself with lots of zero point upgrade cards that do nothing apart yeah. from let you put shield back. Yeah, and one point. Well, it's one point. It is yeah. an action, but it's certainly going to see gameplay. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And it's chopper, so people are going to run it out of fanboy. Oh, absolutely. I'll yeah. be running it. Yeah, exactly. I've got a list with it in a So, way. I spoke about a crew that paired well with the shuttle, with Ezra's shuttle. More exactly that. And this is Maul. And I love the fact this is paired well, because it's really, really fluffy. So, there's your card. Let's move this across a little bit. There's your card. So, now, this is a scum only. However, if you've got Ezra Bridger in your list, you can take it. So, this is the first kind of crossover card we've seen. So let's have a little read. When attacking, if you are not stressed, you may receive any number of stress tokens to re-roll that many attack dice. After performing an attack that hits, you may re remove one of those stress tokens. So you've kind of got a Zuckus mechanic going on there. And with Ezra, you've got the ability there to force your opponent to uh, uh, re-roll his defense dice, which is going to get Ezra stressed, which is then going to make Ezra a nightmare to hit. Yep. It's kind of nice. They work well together. They're really nice, yeah. So this is probably the card. <laughs> that we've all been waiting for. That we've for. all been waiting <laughs> for. For well, about three waves. Us rebel players anyway. Yeah. This is kind of the T65 fix in a box. A little fix. It could be a bit more. Obviously. I mean, the fact that we can put it on a T70 as well is, uh, makes them it just even amazing, more powerful. But, but, you know, there's definitely an argument now for four X-Wings and yeah, I mean, five as a viable list. I, I, we've playtested it in store or Red Air. Yeah, uh, yeah, the Wookiee's yeah. been flying it. Yeah. Uh, I've tried it with Wedge. Kept him alive for longer than three turns, so it was like a new record. Uh, it's totally... It's, I'm really excited. The only problem I can see so is that I only get one in the box. Uh, I'd, so I can imagine that we're going to sell a lot of Phantom 2s. Because Shh, for this card alone. Stop the press! I've just seen something that I don't know if they've even discussed. And if they have, I've missed it completely. The shuttle's got a rear arc. <laughs> it's got an auxiliary uh, firing arc. Yeah, put no turret and it's got a rear arc. It's got an auxiliary firing arc. What the hey? Yes, look, we got a card here explaining auxiliary firing arc. My brain's just gone, why on earth yeah. would they put that in the box? Yeah. Yes, they've got I what? didn't know about that what? until right now. Shuttle's just blown my mind. I'm gonna have to buy four now. So you got your standard stuff, explaining coordinate and explaining docking. That's really nice. Yep. But they've explained the docking there and you don't have to find your silly little book with the ghost yeah, it causing many, many bit. arguments at yeah, tournaments. Many a time at tournaments. And just an explanation of titles and what a limited upgrade is. Yeah. Which so, you get in anything that's got a title. So, that was the shuttle. 
which is not bad. And the shuttle has just gone from like an eight to a nine and a half, in yep. my opinion, because it's got a rear arc. We're very happy. With just bonkersly good. So next we're going to look at probably the best selling one at this weight. Yeah, I certainly mean, they've run out of the shop. Yeah, uh, well, we're going to run out of these, definitely. Uh, the tie silence is very interesting. A lot of people have been talking about it online. This thing people are going crazy for. So, Alpha Class Star Wing for the imps, the gumbo. This is this is a ship that has, has its origins in a computer game. Yep. Excuse my ignorance. <laughs> I spend far too long with my, my head in paint pots and not playing computer games. I never played the game. I don't know the name no. of the game, but I know most of the X-Wing community are all fanboys for this ship. Yeah, and so it was actually like, uh, it was, I think oh. it was like most voted for ship oh, or something ever. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, an insanely popular ship. And you know, it's nice. It's, it's, it's a mini Lambda, isn't it? It is, that's it's what like we're talking about. It's like my not. ride, Lambda, yeah. miniaturise my yeah. Lambda. I would have loved for the wings to fold. Oh. Am I asking too much? I probably am. You, I think you are. I think I, I am. You but expect too much. Hey, there's a conversion job there, surely. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. a guy that can do that. I know a guy. I know well. a guy. Yeah, that exactly. can I'm going to have to. He's yeah, quite yeah. busy, I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go to his website. It's very good. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I, I really like it. I mean, and you've just got to look at the loadout on this thing. This is jam packed with guns. Like, and oh, missile it's pods. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and it is. I, I don't like this ship. No, I, it, it, personally, I don't like this shit. This is bringing me a lot of fear. I must admit. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the whole alpha strike thing, but it's here. And what can we do apart from row that boat down the street <laughs> merrily, merrily? Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we can do with it. So let, let's have a look at the, <laughs> these these pilots. So we've got top pilot PS seven. Yeah. Major 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 Vinda. Vinda. Yeah. Vinda. Vinda Vinda. Yeah. We'll call him that. Uh, when defending, if you have a weapons disabled token, roll one additional defense die. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's got slam. These things are going to have disabled tokens. <laughs> yeah, a lot, yeah. But they they're kind of built, them. yeah, to work off these disabled tokens. Which is funny because we've just had the K Wing fix, right? Well, say fix. We've just had the K Wing nerf. That's right. So no slam, no bomb action. Unnecessary. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And then this thing comes out, and it's like, let me slam and talk you in the face. Yeah. Or shoot you with my cannon. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's totally mad. But Smart. you can see on the upgrade bar, uh, what we've got. We've EPT, got EPT, bombs, missiles. No, 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 no. Uh, that's torpedo. We've got torp, sorry, yeah. Uh, so it's got focus, target lock, uh, slam. slam, and reload. No. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. So the next one is a bit spicy. It's uh, Lieutenant Wasabi. Sorry, <laughs> Kasabi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he is. When you reveal a weapons disabled, uh, when you receive a weapons disabled token, if you're not stressed, you may receive one stress token to remove it. Nice. So it'll allow you to slam and then shoot a big cannon. Yeah. So because you're kind of limited with what cannons you can shoot with that that kind of loadout. It's got exactly the same in the way uh, of upgrade, uh, upgrade slots. slots. I mean, 24 points. Yeah, Jeez. he's got loads of yeah, health with yeah. two agility. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these are going to be really, really well lot played sh uh, ships. And two evade. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, two, yeah. two agilities, bonkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two with three bonkers. shields. So, this is the um, RHO squadron veteran. Okay. No specific no, pilot no ability. ability as you'd expect. But at 21 points. 21 points. And it's still got an EPT. So, uh, look at that. Four. Look at that. If a T65. <laughs> if you could make an example of how under overpriced the T sixty five is, there you have it. Yeah. Four hull, three shields, two green dice, two red. Awesome dial, especially yeah. when you factor in slam. Yeah. And then what you can do to the ship, and that's not even the baby of the bunch. No. The baby of the bunch coming in at PS two, the same as a T sixty five rookie, mm. is the a new squadron pilot. Yeah. So this is PS two. And this is only 18 points. The only difference is he's dropped his EPT. Apart from that, he's, he's exactly the same in yep. every way. Yeah, both, both of the generics are the same. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at these. These are the upgrades. Uh, these are the, the reference cards. Yeah, so we've got a new one here for the reload and jam action. So these are new abilities for us. So reload. A ship with a reload icon in their action bar may perform a reload action to reload. <laughs> Choose any number of the ships equipped discarded torpedo or missile upgrade cards then flip them face up then assign a ships uh, uh, then assign the ship a weapons disabled token a ship with a disabled token cannot shoot obviously 
However, these things can if you give them a title. Yeah. So what you're looking at here, guys, for those of you with big beards, if you notice I've shaved mine off today for this. Mine's still kicking in. I'm right? going to fly one of these. You're going to be able to move, slam, shoot, reload, clear everything. I mean, what? Yeah, this, one, this is This is why they're selling shit. out as scary. Yeah. Properly scary. In fact, I, my phone's just pinged with somebody else asking me to put one behind the table. <laughs> <laughs> slam action with the updated slam rules. So you'll know what slam does. But this is just letting you know you, you can only perform actions that are on your action bar. It's the fixed card. Didn't yeah. need to happen, if you ask me. They broke my heart. But anyway, so let's have a look at some it's of these because upgrades. because of what you did with it, yes. they changed it. It wasn't. They should have nerfed no. Lebo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get those out of the way. Yeah, and let's see what we've got. So what we've got in here, let's have a look. Where the, let's start with, the, with the EPT. Okay. Saturation salvo. One point. Do you want to read that, Mr. Brooks? Yeah, no problem. Right. After you perform an attack with a torp or a missile, secondary weapon that does not hit, each ship at range one of the defender with an agility value lower than the squad point cost of the tor or missile uh, upgrade card must roll one attack die and suffer any damage or critical damage rolled. I mean that's mental. It's bonkers. Because you, yeah, especially if we're going to put some heavy tor, like you know, like four or five point tor. No, no you don't even no need to. It. You can take like I'm going to take a one point tracer missile with mm. munitions yeah. fail safe. So I'm going to keep it when it misses. Yeah. And every time it misses, I'm going to do splash damage to everyone. So but I've only got one point. Yeah. Each ship that uh, each ship at range one of the defender with an agility lower. So if you've only put a one point missile. Oh, right, so then, yeah. And then it's no. It's only going to be like the ghost. It has to be lower than the cost of the missile. So you uh, okay. see what I'm saying? You put okay. some on with four so you points. You've got like an ion pulse missile then, didn't you? For exactly. like three points. Exactly. And they've all got. Well, and most, like things, most, oh, that are most things. Yeah, most yeah. things that you expect to see running in a squad yeah, yeah, are yeah. not going to have agility three. Unless it's like swarm. Yeah, and triple, a triple defender yeah. maybe is going to be the exception. But, but against a swarm, if you've got a high pointed missile or torp. Ouch, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, you're gonna So wreck. suddenly, maybe even with a high pointed torp, you're no longer looking for the damage. You're looking for, you're going to start using munitions failsafe and going, well, I'll shoot you with my four point torp. <laughs> and I'm not going to focus. Yeah. And I'm not going to use guiding chips because I've got munitions failsafe. But everyone's taking the damage. Yeah. And I'll shoot you with it again next turn. Mm. They've got to roll the damage, fair enough, but they're taking crits yeah. as well. So it's Ouch. Horrible, horrible, horrible. What have we got next? Cruise missile. We've all seen Old it, we've all got it. Done it. Yeah. Uh, jamming beam. Jamming beam. Yeah. Right. So this is a new cannon. I didn't even know about this one. So this is a uh, a three dice attack. It's range one to two. It's a one point card. Which is important. The point cost of this, which yeah. you'll see later. If yeah, because of the titles yeah. that come with this ship. Um, if this attack hits, assign a defender one jam token, then cancel all dice results. So what I'll do. Before we even move on, mm -hmm. is I'll just go through jam. So jam. When a ship has both a jam token and a focus, evade or blue target lock token, remove the jam token. Um, then that ship chooses to remove one of its focus, evade or blue target lock token. A ship is jammed if it has a jammed token. That's pretty, pretty bad. What it's basically saying is once you've got a jam token, next turn, you're going to have to focus for naught. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to focus just to get rid of your jam. To get rid of jam, yeah. It, it's it's horrible. It's a real uh, and it's something new that we're gonna see quite a lot of, I should imagine. So, so linked battery. We had a little discussion about this. The pretty much the only ship this works on is the Alpha class Starwing. It's small ship only because we were going, oh, IGs, IGs. Can't take it on IGs. And then what other uh, small ship comes with two two cannon slots? Uh, do, do, do defenders have two cannon slots? They no. might do, but even if they did, one. they have one, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this could work, I suppose, with defenders, but I, I'm not sure why you'd spend two points just to re-roll a dice. This is definitely a card meant for the Alpha Class Star Wing. And yet again, with its points. Two points, yeah. You're not actually attacking with this, though. So when you attack with a primary or cannon secondary weapon, you may re-roll one attack dice. Kind of built in nerfed predator for two points just for your cannons. Advanced slam. 
Advanced Slam with edited wording. They've yeah. actually done it and reprinted. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting nice, the they, old wording. They've put a K-wing There's on the a, art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's, <laughs> That's not nice at all. Right, now, the two cards that really define this shit. Yeah, these titles. So, XG1 Assault Configuration and the OS1 Arsenal Loadout. Right, so, for the XG1, uh, your upgrade bar gains two cannon slots. Right. Right, you may perform attacks with the cannon secondary weapons that cost two, <laughs> two points, yeah, or fewer squad points, even while you have se uh, a weapons disabled token. So you've got the jam cannon, you've mm. got tractor beams, yeah. you've got flechette cannons. Yeah. You're slamming and getting these. Oh, up. mate, it's, it's brutal. Yeah, it's exactly. Brutal. And then uh, for the OS1, uh, your upgrade bar gains the torp and missile upgrade icons. You may perform attacks with torp and missile <laughs> secondary weapons against ships you have locked, even while you have a weapons disabled token. Ouch. It's brutal. So, yeah, and so, slam back. So, so let, let's just show you the this. important to see the Let's dial, just show yeah. this the dial. So, unlike the K Wing. This has got a hard three. It's also got a four forward. And, and, and I know you can't go four forward and then slam because you're stressed. I'm sure there's some jank way of getting rid of it. Yeah, there'll be a way to There'll be a that. way. Yeah, there's yeah, someone yeah. out there. But the hard three up. is huge. But still, the hard three, hard three, mm. followed by shooting mm. is bonkers, especially with the torp version. Yeah. Because you're not limited to how much you spent on your torp. Yeah. Whereas the cannon's like an you, enabler. Yeah. I can certainly see like one of them with a cannon that's going to do its business, shoot you with a tractor beam, drop your agility, and then you're going to get face planted with two <laughs> massive missile strikes. Not fun. Not fun. Alpha strike, not fun. No. no. So this shit... More flying, less alpha strike. Yeah, we, we, we love it, but we hate it so, so yeah, much. Yeah. Right, especially as Rebel players. Yeah, yeah. screw you, Imperials. Yeah. Uh, next up, uh, <laughs> we've got the Kimogila. Kimogila. We had a Kimoglia. discussion about it. It's not Kimogila. It's the Kimogila. Right. Uh, this is a Mandalorian ship. It is a Mandalorian ship. Indeed. Right. Uh, this is medium sized pack as opposed to the first two, which were small uh, small packs. Let's have a look. Right. So the first thing that I noticed on this one is that the paint is very uh, like simplified. They've not weathered this one. But, I mean, the ship itself. It's pretty complicated, you know. And it's Mando. So, I've done a poll on my painting page about what I should paint first. And there was a few comments about, oh, we won't pick that because it's so boring. And it's got no detail on it. Well, actually, get, yeah. that was the one out of all of them I would love to, to have picked. Because flat areas and a bit of... There's, there's a chicken laying an egg somewhere in this shop. Yeah. I will find it and kill it. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. lady's God. egg. There we go. Please this excuse was it. the one I'd most like to paint because actually... Having the model in your hand, it's nice. It off, yeah, I really like the aesthetics. It's very, very Star Wars. It design. feels Mando. Yeah, it, it, it does it's, feel it's very cool. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think the pictures that you were shown really did this model any justice. And actually, with a little bit of artistic license, you could do some wicked, wicked paint schemes on this ship. Yeah. So I, I love this. Ten out of ten for actual design, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Anyway. So pilot wise. What have they done with it? Well, let, let's first of all, before we even go to pilot, let's just talk about The big about thing this. about this, look at the cannon on the front of it and let's talk bullseye, yeah? Yeah, let's talk bullseye. Bullseye firing arc. So this firing arc is going to have this implication regardless of what pilot you're using. The other pilots have their own abilities that tie into this firing arc. But bullseye firing arc always does this plus whatever your pilot's ability is. This is brutal. Mm -hmm. When attacking, if the defender is inside your bullseye firing arc, the defender cannot spend focus tokens to modify defense dice or evade tokens to add evade results. What? Yeah. That's just... And I know there's a lot of, oh, the dial's not great, and this, that, and the other, and, and oh, I'm not going to be in that arc. It's not always that easy to not be in someone's arc. Not every ship has multiple reposition actions. And you do need to face at your opponent to actually shoot at them. There's going to be plenty of times you're caught in that arc and it is going to punish you hard for it. I mean, what, what are the stats on this, Brooks? Well, well we've got six hull, two yeah, shields. Two shields. It's got eight health. Mm. I know it's got one agility, but it's a B-wing that neuters you. Mm -hmm. 
Which is... And what about points? That's points. what's important. So what's the highest point cost? We've got highest. Pilot Skill 8. Pilot Skill 8. So this is Tyranny Kulda. Mm -hmm. 27 points. 27 right? points. It's not bad. Right, so we've got EPT. We've got Torps. We've got Missiles. We've got uh, the Astromech. But the, you know, the Scum Astromech. Salvage Astromech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we've got Illicit. It's also got Focus, uh, Target Lock. Barrel roll, so it's a barrel roller as well. Great, that's just what they need. Uh, and it's also got reload. It's got barrel roll. Yeah, it's got barrel roll. Uh, after you perform uh, an attack, each enemy ship inside your bullseye firing arc at range one to three must choose to <laughs> suffer one damage or remove all of its focus and evade tokens. Let's hope that it so, ain't got no tokens. So you've got it in your bullseye arc. You say to it, right, you can't spend your focus or evade to dodge this shot and then after the shot then you need to either take a damage or spend the tokens you can't use anyway yeah. it's not leaving you many options is it he's an absolute rotter he is a rotter yeah, yeah. it's a very good word yeah there. he's a From rotter from the knife <laughs> yeah. that's how we roll right next off we've got who is it Dalan it's Delan Oberus and he's 25 points Exactly the same loadouts. At the start of the combat phase, you may acquire a target lock on an enemy ship inside your bullseye firing arc at range one to three. Free target lock. Do you know what I really like about this? Look at the card. You see that in the background? Yep. That is, that is where we've got we we we've got a, a Lebo promo. We, we have indeed. Here, yes. Where Dash is flying. In fact, it's Lebo flying yeah, it's the twenty four hundred yeah. in to pick up Dash, who's been on vacation. It's the same picture in the background. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of showing you where Scum and like the, the more Wu Wei rebels are kind of going for a drink on a Saturday night. <laughs> I'm quite excited about but, that. Yeah, and this, I wouldn't mind going partying there, yeah, to be fair. This ship is, uh, it is Scum and Villainy, but it is favoured by the Huts and right. all, their, okay. all the gang members. Okay. It does say that in the blurb on the back. Uh, it's very nice. I'm still in. Cartel Executioner. All right. So now no this abilities. is following the theme of EPTs on generic pilots yep. in the scum faction. And I five points. Yeah. Still got an EPT. PS five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, PS five. Yeah, twenty four points. points. It's still nothing for what it does. I mean, three out front is horrible. Uh, I love the artwork on that. The yeah. Paint, the paint job on on the artwork on that's lovely. Uh, yeah, that's just a clean up. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's really nice, easily really does. Nice. That's not bad. Cartel brute. PS three generic. Drops its EPT. What we expected. That's it. That, but you've only got one in there that ain't got EPT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so it's the same health as a B wing. Alright, it doesn't come with the shields of a B wing. Mm. But it's higher PS. I but great ships. I mm. think they're gonna be great ships used by um not by everyone, but certainly by certain people. We'll see a, a lot of it in the scum. Again, reference card for your jam and your reload. Yeah, jam and reload, which we've already been through. Yeah, we've already uh, done and that. And then we should have one more. Uh, no, we've got that. We've done bullseye, haven't we? So let's um, see what cards. We'll just show you. We'll show you the, the the dial. Yeah. So as you can see, it's, R three. It's got all the hards. Mm. The one and two are red. Okay, but the straights are all green. I don't think that that's bad. That bad a dial. It's even got a K. It's got one more green than say a B wing would have. It's not the fastest ship. There doesn't seem to be any four forwards. Is there a four K there? Yeah, four K. That's four K. It's the only four speed maneuver they've got. It's going to be a good ship. It's yeah. going to be a strong, tough, tanky yeah, ship. Yeah, it's a heavy hitter, it's and, you, and you can run a, a couple of them. So yeah. it's going to work really it's gonna, well. It's going to punish you for getting in the wrong position. That ship definitely. What? Right, yeah, then. Let's have a look. We've we done saturation salvo. Yeah, we've done saturation salvo, which they give you two of. Yep. They give us plasma torps. We've got that. Hello, what are these? Scrambler missiles. Right, we've got two right. scrambler two missiles. Two scrambler missiles. Three, po uh, um, uh, three red dice, range two to three, two point card. This is a missile. So, attack, target lock. Discard this card to perform this attack. You don't need to get rid of your target lock, you keep that. If this attack hits, the defender and each other ship at range one receives a jam token, then cancel all dice results. So, this isn't going to do any damage. But it certainly is going to give you jam tokens. Yeah. And Ooh, actually, yeah, it's quite hold horrible. Hold on a second. Give me a saturation salvo. Uh, you've got that I've given there. it back. Yeah, yeah. Hold on a second, dear. Hold on. Uh, no, no, points. no, no. See, the jank was strong, but not yeah. that <laughs> I thought I'd found a, a chink in the jank armor. <laughs> so that's it. For, for two points, great. Uh, next up, we've got R5 TK. 
You may require target locks on friendly ships. You can attack friendly ships. Nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not quite seeing how mm. that works yet. I'm sure there's a way. But I, I've got a good feeling that when a card like that comes out, we might not be seeing the full picture yet. Yeah. There may be something coming in another wave that's going to make that make much, much more sense. Next, two copies of Contraband Cybernetics. This is a new illicit. So when you become the active ship during the activation phase, you may discard this card and receive one stress token. If you do, until the end of the round, you may perform actions and red maneuvers even while you are stressed. That's pretty cool yeah. for a point. That is point, pretty cool. That's insane. That is pretty, pretty cool. I love an illicit. Oh, I do like that a lot. I like the artwork as well. Yeah, like they've the done a really good job on that one. Right, there's we've a back got sat in the background. I like it. Another illicit, Dead Man Switch. When you are destroyed, each ship at range one suffers one damage. We know it. Two points. Ah, ah, stop the press. <laughs> I've just worked it out. Dead Man Switch. Scram, not scrambling missiles. Where are we? That one, uh, R5TK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! yeah. Swarm of Zeds, right? Yep. Watch this, Swarm of Zeds. <laughs> Fly I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk my own Zeds and just create like a kamikaze chain reaction. So you get one of them to one health and then you got the other three at like three health, two health, one health or four health. And it's just boom, 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 boom. And it's just, it's Chinese New Year it's all going. over again. But with your Z95s, go out there and do it. Order four Zeds from Warlords now. <laughs> yes. And next up, title. Okay, Enforcer. So, uh, after defending, if the attacker is inside your bullseye fire and arc, it receives one stress token. I mean, this bullseye fire and arc thing is going to oh, be interesting. Oh, do you know what? Once you start like, stacking all yeah, of the things... That you can do with it. It's yeah. going to just, like, just ruin you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're in the arc, that's it. Game over for that shit. Yeah. No tokens, no No, no none of this, none of that. Right, next up, one that I've been waiting for. The other one that I've been waiting for, the resistance bomb. Big right. ship. Big ship, and yeah, yeah. I looks... mean, they've gone World War Two even with a name. It's yeah, B17, it, 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 it is. Yeah, it is. It's a BF seventeen, is it? It'll say something. God, let me have a look. There we go. Yeah, B BSF seventeen. So, George, you love them. Let's have a look at this Let's more. Let's get you this out. Oh, we're getting a pamphlet. We've got a mission. Do they still do that? We've not got a mission. No. Right? No. No. Oh, no, that's pants. We know that it has got zero. Oh, has it got a full stop? It's got a full stop. Right, let's get this bad boy out. This is quite a mahoosive ship. Yeah, and it pegs at the bottom on the base. So uh, this is a large base ship, the only large base ship out of this wave. Oh and it is going to fit directly oh, just on just the peg. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see it. It is massive. Check it out. It's coming in episode eight next week. You've seen it in the trailers. We've got a nice little turret on the bottom there. It's all looking good. Turret on the back there, looking filth. Yeah, this is a really nice ship. And I may be running two of these. See, I don't like it. You don't like it, no. but we're gonna test it. Yeah, and, and this is the one I'll have to paint first. You've yep. all voted for this. It looks like I'm going to be doing some sort of World War Two B7. It's got that feel to it straight away. I get you know. it. I, I'm just not feeling feeling it in that scale. I think. Do you know what this looks like to me? Like an Armada ship. I think it should have been an epic. It should have been our next Rebel epic. I was, so still yeah. going to want. Uh, still going to want a Yeah, still going to want a peg. Yeah, still you can't low ride no, it, can no, you? No, I'm afraid oh, not. No, no Cheech and Chong action on no, this one. No, that's right. So Ash is getting it all set up here. Oh, it's so got guns yeah, all over all it. All over it. So like this thing is covered. This has got a turret. So what you might be looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, is a rebel uh, um, jump master. Mm -hmm. I know it hasn't got two agility. I know it hasn't got a barrel roll. But it's got a load of health. Did you notice? Uh, I use good language then. Um, it's got a, a bucket load of health. Yeah. Nine hull, three shields. I mean, that's what? Tw that's 48 health. In a list, you know, 25 points, mm -hmm. 48 health you can put on a table. So if you've been going to tournaments recently and you've been being tabled, this is the list for you. Four of them, 25 points each, no upgrade cards to worry about. You just steamrolling your opponents and then um, hope that your damage deck doesn't run out before, you know, hope that you don't get them all with just one hole remaining. Let's have a look at this dial. So we've got no three hard, but we've got two hards, which are white, white, 
and we've got a white hot turn which is red it's got a full stop uh, the, the rest of the ones are green and it's got three bank a three forward it's all right. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty strong. It's going to be well maneuverable with the amount of munitions that we're going to stick on it. So paintwork wise, they've done a really good job. They've done a little bit of weathering, a little bit of shadowing. They've even put some scorch marks on the engines. Interesting. The engines are all under here. I always feel that they weather the, the bigger ships. The bigger, well, not just the bigger ships, but the ships that are in the movies better than they do the ones that are in uh, uh, Rebels and Clone Wars. Right. Well, not Clone Wars, but Rebels. So, for instance. The paint job's fantastic on the Phantom, but it ain't weather. It's clean panels. Whereas and you, use you it can as a use it as a laser pistol. Yeah, like this. Exactly. So you can play Nerf yeah. if you're no good at X-Wing. Right? Yeah. You can always just paint it up. Do a bit of cosplay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Double Which bubble. is where we're moving into next. Absolutely. We're not going to bother with this. No, no. Yeah. So should we go with the pilots? Yeah, let's have a look. After you. Okay. So the first one, pilot skill 7, 29 points. Uh, when attacking, if the defender is inside your firing arc, you may spend one uh, hit or crit result to assign the rattled condition to the defender. So should we talk about rattled? Let's have a look at rattled Rather than then. going back to yeah. rattled, because okay. everyone will get rattled then. Uh, they will get rattled. So there's it. rattled. Okay. Sorry, you so keep that there, I'll just read it. I'll read it. I'll read it. I'll read yeah, it. you read it out. Because my eyes are not good. When you suffer damage or critical damage from a bomb, of course these are bombers, you suffer one additional, listen, critical damage that's huge mm -hmm. then remove this card so action roll one attack die on a focus or a hit result remove this card they're actually to get rid right. of it because yeah, it's well, dangerous I mean, a lot of them like harpoons you've got an action to get rid of it are you going to really spend your action to try and get rid of it I doubt it because there's so many more important actions in the game that is brutal giving out crits I mean what have you got that can give you a crit from a bomb You've got ion, uh, proton bombs, so no one takes those, too expensive. You've got prox bombs, no one's take those, they're not as good as custom mines. Bomblet generator is the only thing you're getting a crit off. This is adding crits. That's mental. Uh, th I like that the title is Crimson Leader, so they're not giving away anything for episode 8. They're no. keeping that, you know, like, no spoilers. Uh, it's got two bomb slots, it's got tech. Uh, yeah, this is going to be nice. Focus and, uh, focus and target lock on there. It's got a system slot, yeah. that's big. That we're going to get round to. Which there's gonna a new system in here. You'll see that it's on gonna the new system. It's going to change the way the game is played a little bit. Let's have a look. Next guy. Cobalt leader. Cobalt leader. Okay. Uh, when attacking, if the defender is at range one of a bomb token, the defender rolls one fewer defense dice to a minimum of zero. Oh. Oh. Which, which one's this? Uh, range one of the bomb token. Mm -hmm. This is going to pair up well with like Miranda or with Nim. These ships, I don't think, are going to be particularly adept at dropping action bombs. They might be, but really, there's, you want something a, a little bit more nimble. There's a card in there that's going to make you want to run more than one resistance ship, and maybe that is more than one resistance bomb. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I, c I can see the point of that. And next, we've got Crimson, Crimson Specialist. I, I think we might be looking at a Crimson Squadron yeah, in the next yeah, film. Yeah, I've yeah, got yeah. to be honest, because there's another Crimson guy yeah. here. We'll find out next week. Uh, so pilot skill 4, uh, it's got everything else the same, uh, when placing a bomb token you dropped, after revealing your manoeuvre dial, you may place the bomb token anywhere in the play area touching your ship. Yeah, that, that's cool. Yeah. That's going to leave a lot of stuff. There's, there's, a, there's a, a, an upgrade card which we'll talk about in a minute which is going to like leverage that as well. I'm going to use actually... this guy later today, guaranteed. That's the one I'm interested in. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, I think that. But I love See, dropping uh, bombs and uh, the manoeuvre. Do you know the manoeuvre bomb as opposed to I like action bombs? This interests me more with a manoeuvre bomb. I, I think the bang for your buck ships, this guy. The cheapo. Yeah, cheapo people. Cheapo, yeah. So here's a Crimson Squadron pilot. I think we're seeing a theme here. Three yeah. Crimson guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's only pilot skill one, but it's 25 points. Nothing. Nothing. Well, it's the same as the Jump Master's base cost. With yeah. all that haul, it's a turret. It's, it's two. It's a two dice turret. I can run three of them. Yeah, with target lock and focus. Yeah. I know it hasn't got barrel roll, but mm. it's, a, it's a two dice turret. Mm. I don't. That's really and a, good. A ton of bombs. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah. you can build those quite cheaply with with stuff which we'll talk about now. Which we'll get to. So first upgrade, probably the one that kind of defines it a little bit. Nice to see you've got three. Three copies of. They've done a real good job with this. So, trajectory simulator. I nearly said stimulator. Um, you may launch bombs using the five forward template. Instead of dropping them, 
you cannot launch bombs with the action header. And now I remember when they kind of like spoiled this card yeah. ages ago. Everyone was going, oh, oh no, it's out your back, it's out the back. It's not. Launch is a thing. Yeah. It's in it's in the little booklet that comes with it. Yeah. Launching is out of your front. Mm-hmm. And because it's like a reveal bomb, it's straight away. We had a big so, talk about this when it first So, so playtesting it or looking at it, you can launch this bomb, five forward, you can do a hard two, which is white, and you're out of your range one bubble. You don't need to do the hard one and stress yourself. However, you can be a right git and do this. You can launch the bomb five forward, you can steam forward at the enemy, blocking the table up, so they're going to hit your bomb. There's no, they might bump you, they might whatever, and you give the shit that. Mm. Deflective plating. This is horrible. Go on. Yeah, we were talking about this last night as well. So, uh, when a friendly bomb detonates, you may choose not to suffer its effect. If you do, roll an attack dice on a hit, discard this card. For one point. So, what's that, two or three and eight chance of losing the card? Mm-hmm. Not a big deal. If it was hits and crits, okay, 50% of the time you're losing it. I reckon that's good for twice in a game. Yep. Easy. Yep. And I mean, how many times is that going to work? It's Only a, twice ever. It's a, it's a point. It's a point. It's a point to keep your bomber alive. To, to let you put bombs wherever the hell so you want. So you've got them rattled. You chuck a bomb at them. Yep. You ignore your bomb. You give them two damage and another crit. <laughs> bombs are high, <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Exactly. I, three of these is going to be a thing. So cards you've seen before. Two Connonets. A couple of Connonets. Seismic charge. Nice. You can never course. have enough. You can never have enough. Thermal detonator, one of yeah. my favourite bombs. Yeah. Uh, targeting synchronizer, the card that caused much debate and still does cause much debate. We're not going to get into that here because I don't know about rules. What would I know about? Yeah, that's right. I'm barely play this game. Right. So new cards. Two copies. Two good. copies. I'm yes, very good. Happy. We like that FFG. Yeah. Listen to us. Can we more, have more than one copy of these new things? Okay. So. Uh, during, uh, you cannot have more than one focus token. During the end phase, do not remove any unused focus token from your ship. So, this is com relay for focus. Yeah, and this should have a picture of Poe on it because this is going on. Poe. No, it's yes. not. Poe oh, you're me- no. all the time. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. You see. No. You'll see this on Poe today, no. I guarantee. BB 8 primed thrusters. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about intensity. Poe. No, no, no. It's not what he's talking about. No, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Forget Ash he only plays Rebels. That's yeah, true. <laughs> Ordnance silos. Okay, so uh, this bomber only. When you equip this card, place three ordnance tokens on each other <laughs> equipped bomb upgrade. When you are instructed to discard an upgrade card, you may discard one ordnance token on that card instead. Two points. So it's, it's mega extra munitions yep. for your bombs, because you have two bomb slots on these. You can only give it to the BA B17 bomber. Mm. So it's, but it's taking up a bomb slot. It is taking up a bomb slot. So you've slot. only got one. But it, look, at the end of the day, it's two points it's, to increase that bomb slot. It's yeah. the same as extra munitions, yeah. but you're getting two extra bombs. So yeah, yeah, three I bombs agree. I think it's brilliant. More. That's yeah. fantastic. It's absolutely magical. Fantastic. But this has no crew on it. No, it doesn't. Thank God it doesn't. Yeah. Where's Sabine? What? I want to be no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm completely up for this whole spitting bombs fire forward. And you all know, I play bombs a lot. But I think you can take a good thing too far. This might be it for me personally. I don't think that mechanic was With necessary. Sabine on as well. If it was there, oh, Jesus. Mate, look, look take you, it you can put one. Sabine in this squad. I yeah. just think that when you're spitting bombs at, bombs were bad enough when you had to avoid them being dropped. Now that you've got a... I mean, like, you're, you're locking off table, half tables. I'm here, I can put a bomb there, you could get damaged there. Look how much of the table I've just dominated, depending on what angle you are. It's scary, I'm not sure it, it's going to make for the greatest play experience. We'll wait and see that. We will wait and see. Okay, so next, crossfire formation. When defending, if there was at least one other friendly resistance... Big deal, this. Yeah, chip at range 1 to 2 of the attacker, you may add one focus result to your roll. Two points, and not bad. So we're starting to see more of this resistance-specific. I'm sure we're going to see First Order-specific, Rebel-specific. I think this is an attempt at the manufacturer trying to stop too much jank wing going on. We were talking about the crossing. Yeah. Uh, so they, yeah. they obviously have their, their release schedule planned out way in advance that we ever get to know about it. There's obviously some stuff coming that it, if they didn't put these kind of caveats in the card, you're going to see some horrendously broken combos between the rebel stuff, the resistance stuff. 
etc etc so see there's a lot of cards out there we were talking earlier that are say rebel only yeah you know yeah. you're not going to be able to, if, yeah. if, if once yeah. that marker comes out yeah. at the minute we've got three resistance ships we've got well, squarish um, falcon uh bomber and t70 apart from that we haven't got anything else that's resistance so i think they're holding off on it but when it does that would be huge it could it could change everything it's going to be a real big deal it would be nice though to know what constituted a resistance and i mean we all know that's in the film it's resistance token the symbol on the back though is no different to a rebel symbol is it that's no different yeah the edging that, on that's different edging what's, mm. ed, what's different yeah, i'm because sure tell me yeah. it's color right yeah, yeah so you've persecuted against the color blood <laughs> again ffg well so, if yeah. you where's is that yeah one? That one's oh no yeah 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 so check that i don't oh no 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 yeah but yeah they are different that's not different enough if you <laughs> ask me so ffg if you're listening can we have a little bit more clarity between symbols so that is your difference yeah see the first order sticks out massively yeah, compared I mean, to the empire yeah, first order empire we get it that's confusing so the, just the colour blind the rest of us become, are fine ffg no, but <laughs> i would have expected a slightly different symbol yeah. even is yeah there, there is though isn't there in the films no. they have got a different badge haven't they no i don't believe so no it's the same we should know we've probably got someone with pose badge on it somewhere oh, oh, oh. Right. right it's the final ship this is another one that's probably sold as much as the uh the alpha, of this, the, the alpha yeah, part, that's it, just, all you imperial yeah. players losing your minds over mm. this shit you've been spoiled here. now i don't know why this is on a small base at all this is insane should have been large base. yes so this is insane this is so good that even i bought it and i only play rebels right so this is that good the paint job on it is very simple so this is the worst of the lot you, you didn't like it but paint job i mean this is what it is in the film isn't it? it's, this is a black tie fighter that's what it is yeah uh, they give it a bit of a bit of gray dry brush um obviously the red lens but as an actual fighter itself it is cool it's massive it's huge yeah it's so it's big so big it's an egg Oh, it's uh, bigger than an egg, yeah. is it? It's about the same size. <coughs> you can see, it is, yeah. Oh, put it next to the little phantom. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, get a little baby phantom. Yeah. Same size base. Oh, Kylo had baby. Yeah, look. Oh, little wow. baby phantom. So Sm imagine. These are both small ships. Yep, same yep. size base. That's right, small ships. <laughs> so that might change in the future, who knows. But, not bad. I like it. I'm a bit I'll, excited. I'll, I'll pull three. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And I don't play it, it was, yeah. but yeah, First order, I'm going to do some cool paint jobs on those <laughs> yeah, people, I yeah. tell you, they, and they need it, yeah. desperately need it. But they're dying out for it and they'll take to it, so that's all good. Go for it. Bro. Right, pilot wise, guess what we've got? Who, who do you think flies that? Pilot Red. Pilot Red. <laughs> <laughs> so pilot skill nine, uh, he's an absolute beast. He's so big because they need to get his ego in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's going on there. Uh, right, so. 35 points so he ain't cheap but for what he does look he at the stats on the oh no, card yes insane. he's cheap so we've got four hold two shields three evade three attack uh he's got focus target lock barrel boost ept uh he's got systems he's, oh, he's just it's, tech it's, yeah it's ridiculous yeah uh, i mean what how much is a base corin yeah, yeah, yeah. 35 points, a lot of points. It's not a lot if you're not looking at this and thinking Wedge is overpriced now. Nah, okay, so before not. we move on, we got a hint at the dial. Yes. The dial on this thing is redonkulous. So you've been you've been talking about it online a lot. Our IGs yeah. were the leaders in greens, with I think nine greens on their dials. This thing has ten greens. Look at this. Look at this Horrible. ridiculous dial. So that's so, all the twos. Yeah. Three banks, three forward, four forward, five forward. All green. What? Yeah. This thing screams, push the limit. Yeah. This talon rolls, this K's. There's, exactly. <laughs> You've got the option of the, ta the three T rolls and a 4K. Mm -hmm. They haven't even limited you to just T rolls. 4K as well. Mm -hmm. Five forward green. Come on, anyone that's ever played Jake Farrell mm -hmm. knows how much fun it is to push and then be gone with a five forward green. He's gonna. This thing's going to be a monster. And it's going to be everywhere, so gear your lists up to take yeah, down we, uh, we, silence. We've got our big tournament this weekend, which will be live streaming as well. 
these waves are not allowed. Right. So it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, two, it's a day's time, basically. Mm. It's not really fair on everyone. Yeah. But Carlos, our Pelletier. next tournament in January, oh, yeah, I can guarantee. In fact, our Princess Leia charity event we're doing in December will be streamed, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you'll oh, be yeah. seeing these things by the bucket load. I guarantee it. So let's talk Carlos' ability, which most of you already know. But the first time you are hit by an attack each round, assign, assign the I'll show you the dark side condition to the attacker. Okay, so negatives outweigh the positives. Yes, you have to take damage. Positive, I don't have to take Kylo crew. I've yeah. got him in a dirty R ship that's going to punish you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's pretty brutal. Mm -hmm. Pretty brutal. It's, it's really good. Let's talk second pilot. Pilot skill seven, test pilot blackout. Uh, when attacking, if the attack is obstructed, the defender rolls two fewer defense dice to a minimum of one. There's an article on a FFG on their website about how to. So basically, shooting through a rock, uh, plus one, minus two. So basically, it's minus one. There's so many ways yeah. of doing this. Yeah. You can advance sensor it, so we can rock up, barrel roll, get in front of a rock. Next turn, I'll advance sensors, I'll get out of the way of the rock, I'll fly around. You can VI him. Give him fire control system, and I don't care about the rocks. I'll have prime thrusters. I'll just take the debris. I'm going to fly through them anyway, and I'm going to do what I want. This guy's bonkers. PS seven trick shot. What? You're going to see this more than Kylo. This is scary. Yeah. I'm more scared of that than I am a Kylo Ren. Yeah. Without that, I see more of them at uh, 31 points as well. So it's a four point. You, you gain four points for taking for it for two PS. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. He's and do you know you take this guy. You know what you can do then, don't you? You can run Kylo as a crew in a decimator. Yeah, exactly. Because that's not broken. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next one. Pilot skill six. First order test pilot. No ability. Uh, he doesn't need it. He's 29 points. 29 points? 29 points. PS6, man. Mm-hmm. And he's got EP2, of course. Cool. So this is uh, Sienna Jamias Specialist. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's Jamius? Jamus. Jamus. Yeah. Sorry, not Jamias. Analyst. Senior, <laughs> senior Jameis analyst. <laughs> no EPT. No EPT. 26 points. It's for PS4 for 26 points. So couldn't you just take Kylo or Blackout fully tooled and like two of those with a couple of bits on them? Scary. Yeah. Muck, good job I brought three. Yeah, oh, it's good job, yeah. They may not be for sale though. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to buy three more. Yeah. Let's take the rest of them off the shelf. So, right. Two copies of... New EPT. This one's a bit silly, yeah? So it's EPT, not. <laughs> small yeah. ship only, debris gambit. Action, assign one of aid token to your ship for each obstacle at range one to a maximum of two of aid tokens. Right, so, so two points, no, that's what, amazing. You need to look at it with this guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he, so you need to look at it with him. If this guy starts living in the rocks, they don't have an evade action. Mm -hmm. All but of a sudden, he goes, oh, I'm gonna live in the rocks and take away all your agility. And, oh look, I'm next to the two rocks, so I'll have two evade tokens as well, mm -hmm. as, say, my, my fire control system, which has just kicked in. So I'm going to have target lock, I'm going to be beefcake when it comes to you shooting at me. I think that's going to see a lot of play. Even actually, like A-Wings, like my Jake, Jake Farrell, yeah, push the limit, they're yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is a good card. I, I, I think that's got some legs, that card. We've chatted about that a bit already. Uh, what There's else an old one, Sensor Jammer. Yeah, you've all got it. We've got that's nice that they've put two copies two of Two copies of Prime Thrusters. Everybody's after them. Yep. Now we've got to. Such a good card. Massive in the, in the game at the minute. This is Such a good card. Mm. And you only got one copy in Heroes of the Resistance. That's so it's right. the only place you and can there, get them. There ain't many people buying more than one of them. Ah, oh, it's back. Two more copies of this. So if you've been buying all this wave, bonus. Yeah. Because I think it's a good card. Oh, and I think you should be doing this FFG. Two yeah. copies minimum of these cards. Yeah, where's that droid? Yeah, <laughs> two copies of the droid. Yeah. Where's that? New card. New card. Threat tracker. Okay, small ship only. When an enemy ship inside your firing arc at range 1 to 2 becomes the active ship during the combat phase, you may spend your target lock on the ship to perform a free boost or barrel roll action if that action is on your action bar. Which it is. Yep. Yep, it's a nice card. I'm not sure that's the one to go for. It's three points as well. Right, but. It's certainly one to go for if you just want to upset your opponent at times. It's not going to work all the time, but there's going to be the occasions. You know, there's nothing worse than when you try and get a shot on Sontir. This time, maybe what you could do is kind of like leave him so that your opponent thinks he's got a shot 
on, on your like your Kylo Ren on your blackout, and then then as he goes to shot, you go, no, no, I'm going to use my threat tracker. I'm going to barrel roll. Oh, by the way, now I'm going to push the limit and boost. And I'm out of your arc. So you thought you had a shot and you felt good about your life. Now you might as well go and jump off a bridge. Threat tracker. Br yeah. Brought to, to <laughs> ruin your Yeah, yeah. Two You're ready for this. Two copies of autos. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So sales of the Star Viper have just they, crashed through they, the floor. They, they've only just fixed it. You wanted to buy another one. You thought, oh, why not? I'll get some auto thrusters. Guess what? You've got some now. So it's crazy. I can't believe it. I yeah. was proper over the moon when I saw auto yeah. thrusters in there. Title. They won't have to reprint the Star Viper for a long time. <laughs> uh, the title. First Order Vanguard. When attacking, if the defender is the only ship in your firing arc at range 1 to 3, you may re-roll one attack die. Nice. When defending, you may discard this card to re-roll all of your defence dice. Get out of jail oh, card. Get out of jail card big time. It's a good card. Yeah, I like it. Good Two card. points. It's yeah. not expensive. Yeah, good time. It's a good card. Good time. And then, of course, the condition. With, I'll show you the I'll dark show you the side, dark side. If you ain't already owning it. That's right. But, look, you need it anyway, don't you, because of Kylo ship. You do. So you need, yeah, to, have yeah, the, yeah, you need yeah. to have the card. Exactly. And that so, is yeah. wave 12 and 13. All in all, it's pretty mind-blowing. That's a lot of ships in one wave, though, for us poor people coming up to Christmas. Yeah, and it, not just that, but we've got to look at it in the way that the meta's playing the game. I know everyone's always talking meta, meta this, but this is so many new cards, so many new mechanics, and people are going to pick up on certain things straight away, and they're going to get played straight away. Yeah. But other things are going to sit in the background and all of a sudden they're going to be like, oh, where's that from? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, you know, there's yeah, going to be some different yeah. stuff that's popping up. And like I think we've seen with that, that droid that lets you shoot your own ships. Yep. There's that, a few other bits that stuff to write I think there. are going to find their place either given some time and be left in the hands of like the master squad builders of the mm. community or there'll be stuff that will really drop in a slot at maybe the next wave or whatever is coming out next. Certainly with, you know... Uh, uh, um, they're making specifications of resistance only or yep. rebel only. Yeah, so this what's the first coming, time we've seen this team. so exciting. Yeah, yeah. So, certainly the game isn't getting any more boring. And you've got to think that the two ships that we've been given from the resistance now are the ones that we've seen in the trailers to the film. <laughs> and they ain't going to show you all the stuff in the trailer to the film because they never do. Nope. So we've no. got a whole new film that comes out on Wednesday and that's going to give us probably some more shit. And I think there's been like some sneak peeks of a new A-Wing. We know there's a new A-Wing. We know there's a new A-Wing. Which I'm pretty excited yeah, exactly. yeah. So we're going to get a new A-Wing. A-Wing with a primary yeah. value of three. Yeah. Please, God. <laughs> For Christmas, that's all I want. Yeah. So, so I, I've had one or two questions okay. while, while, while you've been doing it. Uh, the, the most pressing one, what happened to the beard? I had an accident with a lawnmower. <laughs> I was mowing the garden and it was one of those petrol ones and I left the throttle on and... He's lying, no, it didn't happen like that. Mine well, fell off and he gave it. No, <laughs> I, I, I had a really itchy face. So itchy that I was like, I have a disease under my beard and I had to check. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out he did it, so he's all right. I'm it was his really face. <laughs> sorry, I hate it, I hate it. Beard, the beard's coming back. Yeah, um, in fact, if um, you want to go to my website or uh, my, my Facebook page and pledge a donation, yeah. <laughs> the beard will be back even quicker. We'll get but Lucy no, to hide all the razors. Don't worry about it. Back. Before, before when I didn't have a beard, I had a nice, like, young, chiselled chin. Then I shaved my beard off and realised I've eaten far too many pies <laughs> and I need to grow the beard back quick. Sorry, everyone. Uh, and getting back to X-Wing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was your next question? Uh, uh, what are you going to run first? Uh, me personally, oh, personally, I've so I've play tested the droid uh, out of the Phantom already on Wedge, like I said, and it actually kept him alive for a couple of turns. The Wookiee's been doing the same thing. Now we have never gone down the route of printing dials and going to that length, have we? But we've play tested odd cards. Yeah. I'm going to get the bomber out today, without a shadow of a doubt. That bomber's going on the board today. All resistance list. Uh, Phantom will go on the board today. Uh, they're going in list. We're going to sit down after this. We've also got to get Sim down here and get working on some dirty lists for everyone. Right, so Sim's Sim's already created like kind of one of the ultimate no fun play experiences <laughs> with that new shuttle. <laughs> it ain't fun. Mm. It ain't my cup of tea though. Um, I'm maybe not like some of the other gamers out there. I genuinely don't do any play testing with any of the new ships before it's released. I, I very rarely even pay much attention to what the like the leaks are. Um, 
there's nothing in here right. I'm super, super excited about. I'm not going to lie to you, I've been playing two A Wings and an Arc Fighter at the yes, moment. And, and just it's been having, it's not horrible. It it's like the opening credits from Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> and it's just, it was like a fluffy list that's kind of worked. And I've had so much fun with it. I, I suppose if I have to be forced to pick one, it's probably Kylo Silencer. I like the aesthetics. <laughs> and that's I'm really bad. I'm a rebel player. I don't don't hang me from a tree. But I've recently been enjoying painting some new imps. I've shared some on the internet. I'll be sharing some in a couple of days. A new lambda and a couple of strikers I've done. So Kylo's ship. I really want to run it because I want to paint it for myself. I think we're going to see silences tonight. Everyone's coming down tonight. We're going to see silences. I've tonight. got a list with this. Yeah. That I think will make people hate me. That includes other ships. I'm not going to tell you all. Come on, guys. Give me a little bit of a chance. Why ask? Um, <laughs> Why yeah, ask? Um, I don't like those. Yeah. I think they're bad. Mm. I will run them. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. Um, and the bulls are. Let's go see how the bulls are. Oh, right? actually. Yeah. The Kimogilas. Mm. No. Kimogilas. Kimogila <laughs> fighter. I've got a really good idea for paint jobs on them, and I actually think they may be a bit of a hidden gem in the wave. So when yeah. the arcs came out originally, and I did really well with the arcs, I kind of was really down on the arcs at first, and so were a lot of people before they ever come out. But then once I kind of got hold of them, Amazing. I realised a little bit of jank wing and a little bit of combo X wing, you could make something. I, I just think they're going to really, really punish you for getting in a bad position with yeah. that shit. It's not going to be, oh, I've made a bit of a mistake, I'll take the shield or two. Oh, I've made a bit of a mistake. I'm done. Yep. These things have just torn me apart. Camoglia interests me probably more than the new hotness that everyone's shouting but, about. Like we were saying when we, could, we opened it, Phantom 2, Rear Arc. Yeah! Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see what happens. Rear Arc. I mean, I've only brought two. I might have to buy two more. Uh, well, well, there, was the three. Alone. there was three in that episode. Yes. Because they find three, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit annoyed. We haven't got like a droid pilot though. I know we could use Thingy Bob, but I mean like battle droids. Mm. I want the battle droid pilot um, so I can keep things it's fluffy. It's all to come. It's all to come. Oh, shh. Yeah, yeah. Shh, don't it's tell anyone. Right. But yeah, yeah, all of it. I'm going to try all of it out. But you know me, I'm a creature of comfort. I'm still playing Miranda, even though they've nerfed her. Um, yeah, that's, that's about that, really. What? About you, Brooks? Yeah, I, like I say, I'm, I'm going to get that Phantom 2 out. I'm going to chuck the bomber on. I'm going to run. I'm going to see the bomber with Ray and the Falcon if I can and try and work that out. Because uh, I've been. <laughs> Ash Brooks is the only man to ever make a U wing work. Yes. Heft Topper, uh, yeah. bane of my life. This thing bombs you where you least expect it. So I'm pretty sure Mr. Brooks is going to make that, B, that, that B17 bomb in places never before heard of. I intend to. And uh, I may even run two of them. We'll see. Let's have a look. I, I'm too busy. I'm all in Ray at the minute. I can't, you know, it's 60 points. She's the best. I'm uh, certainly going to try and borrow three of other people's mm -hmm. run four just for shits and giggles for nothing else than the fact that that's 48 health on the table. Yeah, that's <laughs> stupid. And they're always shooting. If How many damage range, cards have you got? you got 33. <laughs> well, you win. There's actually there's 36 hull points. Yeah. So... You'd have to hopefully want to die, or you'd have to start reshuffling like your face down damage cards, which is just mental. But yeah, it's cool. It's man. growing yeah, on me. Yeah, you know it is. It's growing it's on me. And you can use it as a gun. It's growing on me, and I'm sure that just give me some time with it, because I know I've got to paint this first for everyone. So um, once you've had it on the painting table, you'll love it. That's, that's what happens. I paint something, I play it. That's why I've been playing imps lately, because I painted some imps. So I just want to get the, you know, my bit of fun out of it. But what the most important question you've got is where can you buy it all? And guess what? You can buy it all here. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> loads of it. Well, I say loads of it. We ain't got much left. Well, we are. You've we're got we're all right. Stuff left. Yeah. yeah. So we've got Alphas. We've got. They're the main ones. Alphas are going to sell out, right? And it's limited stock at a Stevium. Uh, what else is limited stock? Silencer or Bomber. One of the two. Definitely limited. So. We've got them on the shelf now. You can buy them on our web store, or you can come down and pick them up in store. It's Christmas. Yeah. Tell the loved one. Yeah, you yeah, love yeah. me. Buy me a toy. Yeah. Don't buy me aftershave. The kind Don't of things that you socks. want for Christmas. Buy me are plastic. X-wing ships and tickets to weekend wars X-wing events. That's or what you want. Custom painted ship by Rasta, mate. Yours truly. Yeah, yeah. Comes with a pack of sweets. <coughs> I've got a question. Go on then. Of all the new stuff, which is including 
both upgrade cards, pilots, ships, all that kind of stuff. What do you think is going to have the most impact on this on the gaming scene as is? Well, out of everything out of there, everything just being card life. alone. Either an upgrade card or a pilot ability or a new ship. What's going to have the biggest effect on the on the scene? The meta. Yeah. That's going to affect. What's, what's, the what's going to really the possibly change the game? Bring something different. I think the tie silence is going to be the ship you see the most. It's so we've, we've come it's back ridiculous. round to like an aces meta mm -hmm. all of a sudden. They've gone for a bit. Everyone's kind of like, oh, bombs are gone now because you've nerfed Miranda. You haven't nerfed Miranda. She's still Don't the boss. even dream that you've nerfed Miranda because you ain't. You all bring your your aces out. I'm gonna bomb you. Which is bits. which is great because if this does become the new hotness, which we do believe it is, from it's what everyone's been talking man. about, everyone's crazy about it's it. The, the dial hotness. is insane. Bombs will soon mess this up. Yeah. You know, we'll just bomb the field. Which is great that they brought them out together because it's the answer. You know, uh, I think that is that will be the biggest release of this this would be crazy and the alpha boat I'm, I'm really scared for this oh, star do you know what? what man Slam. do you know what actually I might have to retract that mm. I think the star wing might actually be the single biggest impact by sales alone it is already the biggest impact which version because there's the, the two missile the missile, missile one. one yeah missile and torp one uh, being able it's to the, go it's the combination three, three torp it's not even that it's the combination of being able to Slam, yeah, so you can turn around completely, completely 180, yeah. shoot and reload. Yeah, that's nonsense. Sorry? It seems too much, oh, well, it's not too much, but no, nah, you know, much. we'll, 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 we'll see. Well, we'll find out, yeah, yeah, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out, we're gonna find out tonight in store when we play loads of it. <laughs> I've got to go home, out. yeah, you've got to go home, even I've got a list. <laughs> but have you got any questions, John? Uh, are we finished? We are finished. <laughs> so, thank you for watching us, two idiots. Yeah, especially me. Yeah, Sorry. especially. Yeah. Over and out. We'll see you later.